Hello guys, welcome back to another Android AtMob tutorial. In this episode, we are going to learn about how to display an AtMob native ad in your Android application. Here I create a new Android Studio project. Here I name it as native ad example. Now the Android Studio project is created in layout, but here the build is not a success, so I rebuild the project. Okay, now the project is ready. So first up, we need to integrate the Google Mobile Access DK to this Android Studio project. Open your browser and search for Android AppMob. Go to the official documentation from AtMob. Select the Get Started page. Yeah, you have to add the Google Marvin repository. It is already added for every Android Studio project. Copy this dependency. Open Gradle scripts. Open module level Gradle scripts. And paste that line here. And sync project. Okay, project sync finished successfully. Now again go to the documentation. We need to add this metadata tag within the Android manifest with XML. Open manifest folder. Open Android manifest with XML. You have to paste it within the application tag. Now here you have to provide your application ID. Here I am going to use a test app ID. close all these files now we need to initialize the mobile access DK so open main activity within the on create method I am going to initialize the mobile access DK so here I initialize the mobile access DK Now we can get a test ID unit ID for native ad. So go to the documentation, select test ads, select uh, sample ID unit ID for native advanced. Open values folder, open strings.xml, open editor. Native add add to unit ID and paste the value here. Okay, so now uh, for display the native add unit, I'm going to use the native add unit template. So we have to download the template and we need to add the template as a module to the Android Studio project. So go to the official documentation. <coughs> select native ads, select native templates, select this button, download native template, this is the github page, clone or download, download as a zip file. Now here the file is downloaded, show in folder. Now I'm going to extract the content of this file, extract to this folder. Okay. Now go, to, go back to Android Studio project, select file, new option and import module. Go to the download folder, go to users, my name, go to downloads, this is the downloaded file. Open that one and select the folder called the native templates. Click OK and click finish. So here we successfully add the native, here successfully add the component. Now the project scene 
project is in progress. Now the project sync finishes successfully and here is the newly added module. Now go to file, select project settings, project structure. Okay, do one more thing before do that. Uh, we have to rebuild the project. Select build, first clean project. Now build and rebuild the project. So here the project rebuild finished successfully. Now select file, open project structure, go to modules. This is the newly added module. Now select dependencies, dependencies and here click this arrow and select add a module dependency. It is not shown here. Okay, select all modules and click the plus button, add a module dependency, select native templates and click OK. It is not working, I close the project, close this project, now open it again. Okay, now clean the project again, clean project. Now again select file, go to op project structure, project structure, select modules, select dependencies and a new module, module dependency, yeah now it's available. Now select this one native templates and click ok, click up play, click ok. Now open the module level edit file, check this line. Yeah, now the particular module is added successfully. Okay, now open the layout for the main activity. Open resource file, open layout, open the layout for main activity. Now we build the project again. Okay, now it is ready. Here there is a text view. And delete that text view. Now change this one into blueprint. For my listeners, I just I am going to add a text view to this layout. Add a text view. Create constraints on the left left and right side. Also create constraint at the top side. Okay. On the attribute window. Specify margin at the top, specify margin left 8 dp, margin right also 8 dp. Go to design. Okay. Now go to the XML file. This is the text view. Here the width is wrap content and change wrap content into match parent. Here is the text attribute that is no longer needed. We have to change the ID. Here I change ID into my template. So here we don't need this text view. Instead, we need some template view for the native ad. So go to the documentation. Yeah, we need this one template view. The native templates dot template view. So I copy this line. Now instead of text view, I'm going to paste that one. So now the abbey view is available here. Again go to the documentation. So now we need to specify the size, size of the ad. So here we have two options. We have small and medium ad is available. So I copy this one. This is for small native ad. And paste it here. So now we have a small native ad. So I am going to change this one into medium. So 
So now here we have a medium native ad. Now go to main activity. So the native ad is uh, loaded using an ad loader class. So, so first create variables for add loader builder. Add loader dot builder. New add loader builder. This need two parameters. First one is context, and second parameter is the add unit ID. So we already save it in the strings for example. Native add unit ID. Now call another method on the builder object. So builder dot for unified native add and here specify some listener. On unified native add load listener. So when the add is loaded successfully, this method will be invoked. So from here uh, we can attach the native one to the template. So here first create some variables for template view. Template view. Interview by ID or root ID. Our ID is my template. Now template view dot set native ad. So here we have a parameter for native or unified native ad called unified native ad and pass that variable here. Unified native ad. Now we have to create a variable for add loader. So builder dot build. Now we need to create some variables for add request. New add request. New add request builder. And call the build method on it. Okay. Now we can display the ad. So add loader load, load and add pass the add request. So now we successfully display a native ad on this application. So now we can test it. So I run the project. Yeah. Now this is a test ad from Atmo. So this is how we simply display a native ad from AdMob in our Android application. I hope you understand the concept for getting more Android AdMob tutorial. Please subscribe this channel now.